Hey guys, I just watched the first episode of 20th Century Fox's and Marvel's The Gifted series, so let's talk about it. And I know this might feel a bit weird that I'm talking about a series from almost, I think this season was five years ago, but this show actually ended in 2019 when Disney Plus bought uh, 20th Century Fox, sorry, not Disney Plus, Disney bought 20th Century Fox. And obviously all the shows that they were making got cut. And this was sadly one of them. But I remember this series being really good. And currently at the moment, Multiverse of Madness is in theatres. And I've seen it. Max is watching it today, so we'll review that soon. But there's a character in Multiverse of Madness called Wanda. And she is fantastic in that film. But she actually has a sibling. And she's in this show... And I'm not too sure why she's not in the MCU yet, because she's brilliant in this show from what I can remember. And it really just got me in the mood for, like, sort of X-Men related stuff. So, let's talk about it. So, this show is created by a guy named Matt Nix. And he does a great job with it, because he is accompanied by none other than Brian Singer. If you guys are fans of the X-Men films, we might review the X-Men films later on down the line, me and Max. But if you guys know the X-Men films... Possibly the best one apart from Logan is X-Men Days of Future Past and that is directed by Brian Singer actually. So that is another reason why you guys should probably watch this series if you enjoyed Days of Future Past that is. And basically this show is sort of in an alternate parallel universe from the films where there's been a terrorist attack by mutants and all the mutants are like shunned upon and they're frowned upon in society basically so everyone goes into hiding there's a real sort of like la noir sort of last of us feel to the show which i personally really like and yeah this show is really interesting the way that it goes but obviously it's been a long time so i can't quite remember it so this is why i'm watching it so let's get into it guys so we meet a family called the Strucker family and I got confused because I thought it was Stryker, like Willem Stryker, you know, the guy from Wolverine Origins that um, sort of experimented on him. And they find out that their two kids, uh, Andrew and Lauren, I think her name was, they both have powers and it's sort of like Deadpool, how um, when they get in like real like levels of stress their mutant ability comes through their genes and their blood i thought that scene was sick they like bring down a school because this kid's getting bullied obviously the son in that family is the one getting bullied and there's a great scene where it turns out the daughter her his sister she also has powers and she saves him but the dad in the family is actually a prosecutor against mutants and there's a real cool dynamic because he's sort of against mutants. It's sort of a bit of a racist thing. Obviously, that if you guys have watched the X-Men films, you know what I'm on about. And yeah, this is where they meet um, Wanda's sister from Multiverse and Badness. She's called Polaris or Lorna, as, the, uh, as her real name is, her government name. And she actually gets left behind at the start of the episode and captured by the dad of the family. But this is probably a negative, guys, that I'm going to start getting into. Because the action in it's great. The cinematography is great. Brian Singer does an amazing job. But there are a few gripes that I have with this show. And early on is a little bit bad. But I'm not going to go too far into that. Because I really did enjoy this episode. At the end, the dad gets left behind as well as Lorna at the start. So it feels like those two characters are on opposite sides of the same coin. You know, that's a really good way of putting it, actually, now that I think of it. Because there's a character called Blink. That's also from Days of Future Past, so I bet that's why Cheeky Brian Singer brought her in, which is a great character in this as well. She opens those eye portals, and obviously she can't hold them for long, because that's like obviously the opposite end of her power. And it starts the same way it ends, someone gets left behind, and it seems a bit, a bit lazy, a bit repetitive, but you know, I can't really remember too much of this show's really bad. I, I, personally, I remember it being really good, so... I guess we'll see where this show goes. If you guys aren't really enjoying this series or if you guys think it's a terrible show, just let me know. Because personally, I thought it was good when I watched it in 2019, I think it finished. And yeah, this episode was a really great pilot episode. I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. Really good start, really strong start. And obviously, this show is finished now, so I can review this series whenever I want. I could do a daily, like 
upload schedule i could do it weekly um i'll try and do at least maybe two per week you know because i have stuff going on but yeah if you guys have seen uh 20th century foxes and marvels the gifted let us know down below and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye